Wednesday. Wednesday. Friday. Yes! Triple the action, triple the fun. Tune in. Oh! Three times a week. Monday. Wednesday. Friday. You're watching Blue, Blue Peter. Peter. Live and direct. Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays. Blue Peter. Only on Children's BBC. Blue Peter on three times a week. Telling tales, unfortunately, is only on once. And here's Philip. <laughs> Cameras running, Mel. Melvin Quiff reports. Here I am in Upchurch, where in just two days' time there'll be an event that no one will forget. It's election for the new governor. Beautiful Upchurch, deep in the garden of England. Many poets have tried to capture its beauty. William Wordsworth once said, Oh, blimey, Gavin, I wish you'd tell me when you were going to stop. Don't remember that boy, Mel. Upchurch. What a beautiful place. Anyway, who will be occupying the governor's chair in this town... This town hall? Kevin, I'll be reporting on three key things. The issues, the personalities... Two key things. First, let's meet the personalities. Well, it's a two-horse race, so let's meet the two horses. Simon Dent and Brian Hoggett. So, first let me chat to Simon Dent. Hello, Mervyn. Hello, everyone. Simon Dent, you're a self-made man, a natural leader, former mayor of smaller towns. What makes you think you'll be a good governor? Well, I guess it's just that I'm a self-made man, a natural leader, and a former mayor of smaller towns. Quite. Oh, oh, so yes! yes! <laughs> Enough! So I've done it! Can you do something about it? Absolutely. I will always try to do my best for all the people of Upchurch. So, Mr. Dents, this, actually, it's uh, pronounced Dance. Simon Dance. So, Mr. Dance. This is your campaign slogan, is it? That's right. Thought up by my campaign manager. You know it makes sense. Vote for dance? Actually, uh, that's uh, sense. You know it makes sense. Vote for dance. It's sort of more uh, European. Uh-huh. So, that's one candidate. Now, for the other. Brian Hoggett. Oh no! Uh, I'm late! Dad! Uh, you're not here. Um, oh, well, uh, well, uh, I suppose I did promise. Have we finished? Uh, are, we, are we still running? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Gavin. I uh, thought we'd finished. <laughs> mm. So, Brian Hoggett is the other candidate. He's a teacher, a local man, and he's. Still not here. But fortunately, this, this beautiful pot plant is here. As you can see, it's, it's, it's green with, with, with a bit of brown. Ficus Benjamina. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry. Oh, uh, sorry, uh, Melvin. Uh, what, all right. Uh, 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 I, I can't stay long, I'm afraid. Uh, I'm, uh, I, I'm right in the middle of my innings, you see. Oh, uh, Right. Well, uh, Brian Hoggett, what have you got to say to the people that you hope will, um, <laughs> vote Hoggett? I bet you have a clever campaign manager. A what? Quite. Now, as a teacher... Oh, blimey, is it the time? Uh, I've got to go. I've got to give the children their tea. Uh, your class? No, my own children. Uh, but... Mr. Hoggett, I feel that the, that the viewers have a right to, to know more about you, Mr. Hoggett. So there we have it. Brian Hoggett, 
who certainly cares about his children's tea. So, who would you choose? This is Melvin Quiff. Oh, sorry Mel, what's the picture? I would vote for Mr. Sons because he was more experienced and more reliable and he looks more popular. I'd vote for Mr. Hoggett because he um, cares more about his family. But I'd vote for Mr. Sons because he was on time and he looks responsible. I'd vote for Mr. Sons because he's a smarter man and he looks like a man you can depend on. I'd vote for Mr. Sons because he, he's not scruffy like Mr. Hoggett. Melvin Quiff reports. Tomorrow is election day. Today, we report on the issues. Earlier today, I talked to the people, the actual people here in Upchurch. What are you looking for in the new governor? Um, caring, especially about the awful crime wave. Oh, it's terrible. Look at that awful scuzz block. Madam, oh, uh, <coughs> uh, someone's got to deal with him. So, there it is. Scar's crime wave hits up church. Excuse me, sir. What do you think ought to be done with Scar's? I think they should give him money. Why? Because I like money. <laughs> There's only one word for it. Shock, revelation, crime in Upchurch. You just don't know where it'll strike next. Oh. Let's see how the two candidates will respond. The dirty, rotten, stinking scuzzbag of... Hey. Melvin Quiff, hot on the trail of Simon Dance. Oh, yes, well, I, I promise I'll do all I can to help. You're a uh, very busy, Simon. Oh, uh, hello yes, there, indeed, Mr. Marvin. Dad. Hello there, madam. Yes, uh, I hope I can count on your vote. Thank you very ah, much. What the old days robberies? Yes, yes, yes. Genuine grievance there from the people of Upchurch. Well, we'll um, let you get on then. Thank you, Marvin. Is that right then, Marv? Yeah, great, great. <laughs> hello, Norman, campaign manager. Yeah, hello, mate. Yeah, done the meeting of shoppers. Yeah, photos of roll people. Done that. What's next? What? Kissing babies? Oh, I hope there are no smelly nappies. Yeah. Why aren't you wearing any trousers? Nah, not you, Norman. Oh, Mind out, Gavin. Now, I'm tracking down school teacher Brian Hoggett. Is that your marking there, Mr. Hoggett? No, no, these are the complaints I'm dealing with. Eh? Shouldn't you have given that baby back to its mother? When you kissed it, this is my baby. My wife, my wife's taking the kids swimming, and you haven't wiped your feet. Right. Uh, you're right. I'm a bit busy, actually. So there it is. Help. Come on, Gavin. Help. Mind out, Gavin. Help! Oh, Give me help. help! What's the story, love? Scars. He stole my children's toys. Oh, dear. Help! Help! Hello there, uh, Simon Dawes. You are? And you are? Public. Joanna Public. Scuzz has just stolen all my children's toys. Oh, well, uh, don't worry, Mrs. Uh, I know how to deal with the likes of him. I say, you there. <sighs> What's wrong, Mrs. Public? Oh, Mr. Hoggett, Scuzz has stolen all the kids' toys. No, he hasn't. Not, not Helen's cricket back to it. Oh, she's the best batter in the class, mother. Look, can you order her a minute? Thanks. I'll go and sort it out. Thank you, Mr. Hoggett. Uh, uh, well, uh, I said I'd do something for you, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Uh, uh, publicity. Public? No. Here you are. What's that? Oh, I don't know. Uh, some dreadful computer game I nicked off the kids this morning. But you can't just give it away. I mean, won't your children miss it? Oh, I don't know. Don't really like playing with them myself, little brats. Oh. You've got a baby. No, it belongs to Mr. Hoggett. He's over there talking to Scars. What? Right. Corruption in our midst. Brian Hoggett talks to common <laughs> criminals. Oh, he's blown it this time. No. Wait till the voters hear I mean, about this. I mean, it's not like My first impression for Mr. Sons was wrong because he just wants the publicity and he wants to win. This time I'd, I'd vote for Mr. Hoggett because he just dropped everything and helped Miss Public. I changed my thought. 
tell Mr. Haggett because Mr. Sellers has a man on the phone telling him what to do, but Mr. Haggett doesn't. I would vote for Mr. Haggett because he's got a bigger heart. So, today is the day when the people of Upchurch will choose a new governor. The tension is tremendous. So, Simon, today is the day. Very much so, Martin, uh, but I'm feeling confident. At the end of the day, it's the voters who decide. Well, good luck. Uh... News! The crime wave is over! What? Give me that. So, there's been no crime at all in any sort of wave since yesterday in Upchurch. Uh, um... Any thoughts, Simon? That Hoggett, he's done a deal with Scuzz. Of all the underhand... Mrs. P. Here you are, dearie. Here's the last of them. Thank you very much, Mr. Scuzz. Uh, shall I, um... No, it's all right. I'll take them into your little children. I wonder. Uh, I'm really sorry. I knew it. Blatant bribery. Hoggett's got Scuzz buying votes with toys. They're my toys. He's just returning them. Melvin! That was then, now is now. Now, we are waiting for the actual election result. And of course, both the candidates are here. I'm very excited. I can hardly bear the suspense. Oh, just get on with it when you're mildew. And the result is... Simon, Dents, Dons, 4,000 votes. That's easy enough. Brian Hoggett, I owe 500 votes. Oh, seems like you owe 500 votes, Mr. Hoggett. Yes! I won! Uh, wait a minute. Uh, there has been a mistake made, and the mistake has been made by me. Because, in fact, it doesn't say I owe. It says 1010. So the result really is Brian Hoggett, 10,500 votes. <laughs> so, Brian Hoggett is the winner. And it's... Melvin! This is ridiculous! I mean, I mean, what does Hoggett know about government? He's, he's too, he's too... Honest! And there's Brian Hoggett being mobbed by lots of people, many of them children. And I'm told that we can talk to his new campaign manager. Didn't know he had one. Hello, Melvin. Uh, you wanted to speak to me? Um, no. No, to uh, Mr. Hoggett's campaign manager. Well, that's me. Mr. Hoggett gave me the job yesterday. Really? Yeah. Well, uh, m m Mr. Mr. Scars, <clears throat> how do you feel? Over the moon, Melvin. I mean, about the result? Over the... Sun, Melvin. I mean, Mr. Hoggett, right? He's given me a job, and I feel sort of, well, I don't know, I feel like I've got something to live for. Right, so there we are. Victory for a man who cared for all the people over someone who only cared for one, himself. A day when the people of Upchurch used their common sense. Sorry, common sauce. Melvin, I brought your trousers back. Oh, well, uh, thank you very much. Swaps. What for? This. <laughs> So, for the last time, this is me, Melvin Quick, Gavin, very funny Gavin. Children's BBC by joining us from ten past nine over on BBC Two for all your favourite programmes, amongst them Willie Fogg the movie game and also Grange Hill. Lots more to come. Also, because it's National Pet Week, we're celebrating by having some unusual pets in the studio. Oh, we've got one here already. See you then. Bye. Ah! <laughs>